Vsauce, I'm Jake and bricks and mortar are pretty strong. It would take pressure 67 times that of our own atmosphere for a brick to start to crumble. Not only that, but to break through a brick wall would require the kinetic energy equivalent of a bullet fired from an M16 rifle. Now that we know this, the obvious question arises. Could Kool-Aid Man break through a wall? So let's say we have a pitcher, but not just any pitcher. This is a sentient humanoid one that comes in at six feet tall. When scaled to that size, the glass would be 3.6 inches thick. Kool-Aid Man, or Cam for short, would also be incredibly heavy. His dry weight would check in at 5,800 pounds, but we need to fill him with 607.6 gallons. That'd be 1,150 cans of soda, which would increase his total weight to 11,000 pounds. He would weigh roughly the same as an elephant. We tend to think of glass as fragile, thin, and that's because what we generally interact with is. However, glass is surprisingly strong. It can withstand pressures 469 times that of our atmosphere, seven times more than brick, and takes twice as much energy to break. Since Cam's glass is 3.6 inches thick, that would be enough to not shatter when hitting a brick wall. In fact, his enormous mass means he'd only need to be going at an average running pace to have enough energy to burst through said wall. But let's talk about his weight for a second. As we know from the square cube law, which I talk about in my Could Godzilla Exist episode, you just can't scale something up and expect for its legs to be able to support its now incredibly large body. Lucky for us, since Cam's legs are made of glass, which can withstand such immense pressure, his legs could be the diameter of a quarter, and his feet the total area of three postage stamps. So Cam can break through walls, but what about the liquid inside of him? It is safe to assume that the beverage that fills his body is his blood. Just walking would cause his insides to slosh around, getting dangerously close to spilling over. Crashing through a wall would cause a lot of blood loss. Humans can lose about 15% of their blood without any immediate effects. The American College of Surgeons happened to have created a very handy blood loss scale. A class 1 hemorrhage is 15% blood loss. Class 2 is up to 30%. That's when your skin would lose color and you'd start to feel cold. Class 3 is up to 40%, and by now you're probably in shock or slowly going unconscious. And class 4 is anything above 40% blood loss. Things aren't looking good. When Cam breaks through that wall, he would lose about one third of his blood, a class three. He probably wouldn't be able to finish his oh yeah tagline before stumbling into your home, trying to keep himself upright as he swerves around confused and in shock. Not to mention all the foreign bodies that are now inside of him, because remember, he did just burst completely through a wall and he has a giant open hole on the top of his head. It's a great way to get an infection. Also, even though he wouldn't completely shatter when breaking through walls, his glass would start to form cracks over time, and the fractures tend to grow. So not only would Cam have to worry about the liquid he'd lose from the top, but also the liquid that would be slowly seeping out of his body due to the cracks. Unless, of course, he was made of laminated glass. The same stuff that's used in windshields and bulletproof windows, which is layers of glass interlaced with plastic that keeps those layers bonded together even when broken. So Kool-Aid Man can break through walls, but he'd only be able to get through one unless he figured out a way to keep his blood in. Maybe a Tupperware hat, or he could always just open the front door. But if he must burst through people's homes, he would definitely require aid just not the cool kind. And, as always, thanks for watching.